2023 was a really good year. We had some triumphs, we had some really good moments, we had a lot of learning moments, but here we are in 2024, we're 24 days into 2024. Some people's new year resolution goals might have already come to an end, but here for the title of this video is winning mode 2024. I'm gonna give you guys some pointers on things that you guys can do to take your guys' lives to the next level and actually make your goals come true. So here, shortly, I'm gonna give you guys some habits to do that are gonna take you guys to the next level and make your life just so much better. So let's get right into it. If you guys are also wondering who I am, my name's Ethan Robleski. I am an amateur boxer. I just recently got into self-improvement. I've been an athlete all my life, so I'm very passionate about fitness and living a healthy lifestyle. I'm also very passionate about boxing. It's one of my favorite things. And I just recently got into self-improvement as well. I recently have got into this, practicing lots of discipline, developing better habits, reading more books, taking my education, basically my life more serious, more so. So I live a very disciplined lifestyle. I've competed in boxing 19 times and I still wanna keep going. So my aspirations with this channel is to help people out, help people improve their lives, especially young men, and just be a good role model, do my thing in boxing, uh, make fitness content. I plan on making all types of content, so I'm really excited for you guys to check this out. And starting my channel was one of my biggest goals for my year for 2024. But anyways, guys, enough of me. Let's get into this video, and I'm gonna give you guys some habits that we can do to take you guys to the next level. So let's jump right into it. I would say that this is a non-negotiable and I'm gonna voice over on this while I'm posting a training video right now on the channel, but work out five times a week, straight up. You need to be doing some sort of training. For me, I do boxing training because I've been boxing since I was a little kid and I love it and I compete in it. So it's a good way for me to stay fit, stay in shape, have a good hobby, do something really productive for myself. You don't need to be doing boxing. You could do any other thing. You could be working out in the gym. You could be running. You could be doing another martial art. You could be doing some sort of weight training like CrossFit, or maybe you could be into calisthenics. Maybe you could be into basketball or football or just whatever type of sport you wanna do. Something you enjoy doing that keeps you in shape, keeps your mindset right, and keeps you disciplined. It gives in, is something really good for you. So I would really, say work out five times a week throughout 2024 to see really big time results. If you are not new to working out, I recommend you reading the book Atomic Habits. I, read you, I recommend you reading Compound Effect and Relentless by Tim Grover. These are really good books that'll help you guys get some inspiration for getting in the gym five days a week. The first one I'm gonna say is stay off social media less. I get it, it's kind of ironic. I'm saying this on YouTube right now, but you can balance it out and you can be on your phone less and still watch content like this. I would recommend only watching like self-improvement stuff, like thing that's, things that are really good for you. But usually I try to limit my screen time to a short amount of time. And for you to free up space in your life, to focus on your goals, to focus on like your education, to focus on your gym session, to focus on your career, focus on all these things that you gotta do, you need to reduce your screen time. So there cannot be any like wait, wait, wasteless time scrolling on your phone. There can't be none of that. It needs to just be pure focus, just pure energy and pure dedication to your goals. You can't really be doing much in your life if you're just on social media all the time. So this is the big one that we need to get out the way. Unfollow people that do not give you any value whatsoever on social media. If people are posting about negative things, about them not doing good things for themselves, you should unfollow them, first of all, because it gives you no value whatsoever. Usually for me, I follow people on social media that I'm close with, that I'm friends with. I follow like professional boxers, fitness influencers, people that are doing somewhat something really cool in their lives and they post like valuable content for the most part. But I don't really po like follow people that like post all types of different things. So I would say that moving into 2024, I would say that this is something like you guys should really try doing is just unfollow a bunch of people that do not give you any value whatsoever. And going back to number one, 
staking off your phone list anyways, so it should work out. So this is a big one every single day. I've been reading this one quite a bit often, especially in a lot of self-help books that I read, but meditate, man, meditate. There are countless articles, videos, everything that talk about meditation. This is something every single person should be doing in their life. You don't need to be like meditating for two hours every single day or whatever. Just meditate for like five minutes a day, like I do. I meditate for five minutes. And sometimes I do it longer, but meditation has improved my life a lot. I would say down the road, I would eventually make a video about meditation on itself because it's just so important and it helps me out so much and it'll help you out so much but meditate all the time, man. There are countless studies and benefits that meditation has, and you need to implement it into your life. And I really feel like moving forward for your mental health and for your goals for 2024, you just need to have that really good mindset, that clarity, that peacefulness and in, within, and meditate. So it's just simple as I say, just meditate. Step up on your career, even right now, I'm 21 years old, I'm starting a career in law enforcement, and I'm focused to step up in it. I'm taking the job more serious, I'm starting to read more books on things, I'm really starting to educate my life. So whatever career you have, like even if you're just working a job, or you're self-employed starting a business or something, or you're doing something, like focus on it, like focus on your career too, because this is like what's gonna help you move further down the road too. So even for me, one of my goals that I'm really working on is my career in law enforcement. Right now, it's something that I'm passionate about. It's something that I aspire to do and I enjoy it. So, and I wanna take it more serious and just take my life more serious and moving forward, I wanna focus on my career. So I would say do the same thing for you or if you're a student, just work hard in school, work hard on getting good grades, getting that degree, whatever you're doing. Even if you're like young or like in high school or something, just focus on doing the best that you can in your education. But for the most part, focusing on your career is one thing you should focus on too. I would say this is a really big one, but seek discomfort. We all heard of David Goggins, right? The who's gonna carry the boats guy, the guy that's always running without his shirt off outside, you know, talking to the camera, saying all these things, right? David Goggins is actually a beast. If you read his book, Can't Hurt Me and Never Finish, it will really open up a lot of things on David Goggins. But anyways, David Goggins talks about that callousing your mind. He claims that doing things that are difficult, doing things that are hard, doing things that suck, callous your mind, meaning like they toughen your mind, they make you more mentally tough and more mentally resilient. So when I think of these things, I think of doing things that you do not enjoy. So if you go run outside and it's cold out anyways, you are being mentally tougher and you're also getting out your comfort zone because again, there's no growth in comfort. So that's why I say seek discomfort in some sort of way every single day. For me, and I'm gonna add on to it throughout the video, is cold immersion. I do cold showers every single day. Sometimes I do cold baths every other day, ice baths, excuse me. But I do it because it's uncomfortable. You're seeking some sort of discomfort. So anyways, moving on to 2024, do something every day that is uncomfortable, that makes you get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Because again, I'll say it again, there's no growth in comfort. So let's carry on. Socrates, the Greek philosopher, I think he's Greek, I'm not really sure, but he has a quote that I really enjoy. He says, the only thing I know is I know nothing. And this is why I say every single day, read every day. I'm currently reading a book by this guy named Martin Meadows called 365 Days of Self-Discipline. Funny enough, I got about 40 pages left into it. It was one of the biggest books I ever read so far since I've started reading. It's almost about um, 700 pages. Well, actually, that's a lie. It's like 800 because it's like 781 pages or something like that. But anyways, it's a lot of pages. But read every day because the things that you can learn from reading, like all the things I'm telling you guys is all things I've learned from reading and educating myself, right? So it's literally the same thing you guys can do. So if you're not really much of a reader or you've never been into books, I would say you need to get into them ASAP because even for me, there are so many books I wanna read that I know will change my life and be able to get more results in my life. 
but if you don't read, you need to start reading, and I will eventually make videos on some books that I would probably recommend. I already recommended five books in this video already, but you need to read every day especially if you want to see some big results in 2024, you want to see your life get better, I would say start reading self-help books, read inspirational books like autobiographies or biographies, just anything that's really going to help you out. I would say this is a big one. Drink plenty of water throughout the day because if you're hydrated every single day, it's really going to help you out. For me, I drink a lot of water, but I don't drink pop. I'm a coffee guy though, not gonna lie. I really like my coffee, but I would say just drink plenty of water every single day to make a big difference. If you're really serious about changing your life and seeing some results in 2024, this is a big one. There cannot be drinking, there cannot be partying, and there can't be smoking. I don't do any of these things anyways. I've never been that type of guy. I was never like a party guy. I haven't even got drunk before. And that's pure honesty. But anyways, there are countless studies about smoking and drinking and why they're bad for you. There are so many studies about it. But anyways though, the partying one is a big one. Because for me, I just turned 21 years old. So like there are people that are my age that just like to party. and. If you're not taking your goals serious and you're not doing what you're supposed to do, being disciplined, you're not going to see your results that you want. So you need to be really focused on your goals and doing those three things are not really going to get you far. So if you do like to do that type of stuff, I would say just cut it out. Maybe even take a break from it. You don't need to permanently cut it. I would say this is a big one, but prioritize good sleep. I think that this one is so important, especially if you're trying to actually do a lot of things in 2024 and like making every day count. I would say seven hours of sleep minimum. I'm not here to tell you guys about how much sleep you guys need. I think everyone knows the importance of sleep. But you know all the saying that all our parents said, that who you surround yourself with is who you become, right? I think this is a big one. For me, I surround myself with my teammates that are very driven guys, very disciplined guys. They push me to become a better boxer, become a better person, and yeah, just overall get better. You need to surround yourself with type of people that encourage you to become the best version of yourself. And if you are really serious about improving your life and seeing big differences, and you see people that are kind of doubting you or saying that you can't do it or not encouraging your good decisions, I would say that you got the wrong people around you. You need to get people that are rooting for you. So obviously being goal oriented is really one thing. I would say that just write down your goals, like what everyone says to do and focus on it. So if you actually have goals that are in 2024, go for them, work for them every single day because this is a big thing. Like we all want to win. We all want to do good things with our lives, but we need to set our priorities down. So I would say that this is just a really big one that all people just need to work on anyways. Just know your goals, know why you're doing this. So to really put every hour into our lives better, we need to cut out distractions. So I would say watching no TV, playing video games and doing anything that is time consuming like that, is something we need to cut out period to move forward in 2024. You obviously heard this one a mile away, but nutrition is very important. I would say try to eat healthier the best that you can. Even if you say can't afford it that much, you can work around it. Maybe you can just try to clean up your diet a little bit, but start small though. Again, I recommend reading the book Compound Effect, especially if you're trying to eat cleaner, so then you could see the long-term payoff. But anyways, though, eating cleaner is something that we should all aspire to work on and do anyways. We'll just overall feel better. Our bodies will feel better. Our minds will feel better. And this will be a big game changer moving forward in 2024. I would say this is a big one, but write every single day. Even start with a daily journal, like a task planner. Writing is so important. And I've been writing in a journal every single day since like September of 2023. So I've enjoyed it quite a bit and I really feel like writing helps a lot. So I would say that this is a new habit you can develop focusing on your goals in 2024, just write every day. I'm gonna make a whole nother video dedicated to this topic in the future, but doing cold immersion every single day. There have been countless studies of cold showers, ice baths, and I would say taking one every day will change your life. These are some simple tricks that will help you move forward in 2024. 
Again, if you guys want more content like this, I also plan on posting boxing content, fitness content, and other topics related to this video. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to hit 1K subscribers soon, so if you guys can help me out with that, I'd appreciate it a lot. But anyways, I'm gonna be posting a new video here soon, so I'll see you guys in the next video.